Yo, Yo, what's up everyone? Today we are headed over to a little town just outside of Auckland called Mangapai. It's up north. It's only about an 80 minute drive from Auckland CBD. But first up, we need to get ourselves some food. So we're heading over to Mangapai Tavern. Let's go. So we have made it over to Mangapai. Yes, we're here now at Mangapai Tavern. We've got a little peak of the water over there. You hungry? Yes. <laughs> This menu is super interesting. It's got a really good mix of um, different cuisines, which I thought was cool. There's like tonkotsu ramen. There's mum's Indian mums, curry. Yeah, traditional Indian curry, hawker roti roll and all this kind of stuff. But what caught my eye was the mushroom burger and I'm going to add bacon to it as well. Okay, this looks like quite a chunky burger here. We've got <laughs> <laughs> it's mushrooms with that crispy bacon, some melted cheese, a little basket of fries. <laughs> How are you gonna eat that thing? I that's, don't a, know. that's a beast. <laughs> Someone's baby bite. <laughs> the mushrooms are fried. The bacon is nice and crispy. It's a salty dish here. You've got the little sauces and the cheese that oozes out as well. It's quite hearty. <laughs> I'm going in for mum's curry. It smells absolutely delicious. It's got shards of what looks that. like garlic in there as well. Wow, that's delicious. It's nice and buttery too, which adds that extra layer of richness. Yeah, this is really nice, especially on a colder a kind of day. day yeah. But we're gonna be warm soon because we're going for a walk later. Yeah. That was an awesome meal and shout out to Pagesh who uh, recognized Yen and I from the videos from the North Island <laughs> trip. Cool. He's one of the uh, chefs here which was uh, yeah, it was awesome because uh, not only did we try your delicious food but we also got to meet you as well. So we are now headed over to Mangapai Heads for a walk around the cliffs. Yeah. I think it's going to be about two hours. Yen's pretty psyched about that. Two hours, yay! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's head on out now. Our car. It's gonna be a good walk. It looks really nice already. You can hear the nice sound of the ocean roaring I can in the background. See a lot of stairs though, <laughs> up that away. Okay, so that may be the walk. We're not exactly sure. There seems to be a couple of trails, and we're just gonna find the two hour one because you don't want to get stuck with the three hour one. Well, I don't oh, want yeah, to. <laughs> <laughs> Yen and I have started this track. We're not 100% sure if this is correct or not though. No, we are terrible with directions and we couldn't see any signs. But, uh... we, we did find a sign. It didn't exactly say which one is the correct walk though. Plus there's also no reception so we couldn't check online either. So fingers crossed. <laughs> we went to this post that said four on it. So hopefully it's the right one. We'll let you all know soon anyway. Yeah, so I hope this is the correct walk. It should be, but that cliff over there before had this sign that said this is not the cliff walk, so we went in this opposite direction instead. <laughs> Guys, we've uh, done it again. We got lost. <laughs> this has only been like um, five minutes and we're at some peak, which is very nice. Don't it's get me wrong. It's a great yeah. But I don't think it's quite the two hour cliff walk that we were imagining. <laughs> we're gonna have to go find our way now. <laughs> yeah, we are. Okay, we're gonna go try the actual beach instead. <laughs> walk along a bit that way and see if we hit the right walk. We're gonna get this walk no matter what today. <laughs> We'll spend two hours trying. So it looks like we are on the right track. <laughs> we asked the local and apparently you have to walk all the way along the beach until you reach the end and then there are signs for the cliff walk. So good to know. It's a really cool beach. You've got so many of these giant stones and some of them are super light gray almost getting to white. It's really pretty eh? Yeah they, they got the honeycomb effect. <laughs> the honeycomb. But some of them are very smooth too. Like this one. And I would like to present to you the Manga Fire Clip Walks. And there's Yen. <laughs> At least we found the right track. It's a super nice walk along the coast though. It looks like it's um, both black and white beach sand mixed though. Eh? Yeah, it does. We're ready for this two hour, 15 minute return walk. 
So there are a couple of stairs right at the start, but that is expected because it is a cliff walk after all. And good, it's not like, you know, when you're already tired part way like the Rangitoto track. <laughs> there are a whole bunch of really cool houses along this path as well. I think Yen and I have reached the summit. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is the summit, but it is a pretty view up here. Yeah. And I was out of breath, so I needed a break. <laughs> Great idea that I wore shorts. I'm <laughs> just gonna say, I was prepared for this. Yeah, even though it's uh, still only spring, like early spring, and though it's quite chilly, you will work up quite a bit of a sweat on this walk. Yeah. Lots of stairs. <laughs> you know, I, I don't wanna keep going like, this is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing New Zealand. Because it is though. It is, it is. Mangafai, you really impressed us. I think I can speak for Yen and myself because we've just been like, ooh, ah, I wanna take this photo, I wanna take that photo. <laughs> it's really beautiful. It is. Yeah, Peter wasn't kidding. This is a really, really extraordinary walk. You just get such incredible views and it is very much a cliffside walk. There's no um, fencing and that kind of thing. No. Yeah, so if you're scared of heights, it might be a little bit of a ooh. <laughs> but Jitters, <otherwise>, yeah. <laughs> very beautiful views. We made it back now and you can either return by coming back the way you came or you can go through the beach way if the tide is low. But yeah, we returned the way that we came and we are headed now over to our Airbnb. Totally did not realize this, but our Airbnb <laughs> is literally one minute away. It's not, not even one minute. We didn't even need a drive. All right, we have arrived at the Airbnb. I think Yen is just around this corner. What are you doing, bud? I'm playing with Jazz and Miss B. Your new just, friends. I just chucked the ball, but I'm not very good at throwing. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. They're super cute and very friendly. And look at this amazing view that we've got over here. I can't believe it's such an incredible view and we were right next to it before like half the afternoon. <laughs> One more time. Ready? Okay, let's see how far Yen throws. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's not very far at all. You're giving Jazz a good workout there. So I think it's time for the room tour. <laughs> I think Jazz wants another uh, ball throw. <laughs> let's uh, check our room out. Oh, it's nice and cozy in here as well. Ah, oh, such a nice space. Got a comfy bed. <laughs> it's very clean. And yeah, I just love how warm it is. It must have been soaking in like the sun all day or something. What's in there? Ah, got a little cupboard with a little mini fridge. Oh, there's even juice and water and milk. That's so nice. Kettle and some biscuits and snacks even. I think the most standout thing is right behind Yen is the amazing view. <laughs> wow. I was just saying to Natalie, it must feel so good waking up for that every single morning. Yes. Oh, and the bathroom here. Very nice and clean. I love clean air <laughs> a really lovely cozy place and if you want to rent this Airbnb we'll leave a link in the description below it's hundred and fifty dollars a night and we're just going to chill out for the rest of the evening eh yeah and tomorrow we're heading over to the sculptarium a sculpture walk <laughs> we'll see you then morning, morning everyone it was a fantastic stay here at the Airbnb last night could hear the roaring waves <laughs> Got woken up by Miss B. <laughs> yeah, she wanted to play fetch this morning. But yeah, it was a fantastic stay. Thank you, Natalie, for being such an amazing host. And we are going to head off to back to Auckland now to a place called Sculpturium. Yeah, we're gonna stop off at Makikana first and we're gonna get some food from Rockto. Which is right next to Sculpturium. I think Miss B really wants to play. Yeah, we're gonna right have to play some fetch first. Oh yeah. Now I need to go wash my hands again. <laughs> We've arrived now and we're in Matakana. It was a nice scenic drive through the countryside, quite windy roads there, so it did get a little bit of motion sickness. But we are headed now over to Rothko, which is the restaurant that's at 
It's Sculpturium or Sculpturum, we'll find out. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm pretty impressed by the surroundings and setting of this place already. A very interesting spot. And uh, the lamb shank has arrived. It's got a bed of potato, which is always good to see. And then of course, that all important sauce down at the bottom. I'm gonna give you guys a cut in that just cut right through like butter. I'll have a little bit of everything on this bite. Excited. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh man. Seems like a winner. Oh, that is so good. But like, I'm not kidding. I love these little veggie bits that they've got on top of the lamb shank too, because you can actually taste the veggies have soaked into the meat, have become a meaty, veggie, whiny kind of flavor. <laughs> and plus we got that softness from the potato down on the bottom. That's probably one of the best lamb shanks I've had. Wow, big claim. High praise. Because I've had a lot of lamb shank. That was delicious. Rothko, thank you. <laughs> that was amazing. Are you looking at the sign and saying thank you? <laughs> yes, I have. Well, I've got fish and chips. <laughs> had to get a classic. Perfectly fried. It's really nice. It's crispy. The fish is very fresh. It just melts in your mouth after you have it as well. And with that coconut, yum, coconut tartar. Mm. And it's perfectly salted too. Ian and I will wrap these meals up. Yeah, and then we'll go get our tickets for the sculpture. <laughs> <laughs> so we really couldn't help ourselves. We were both pretty full from our mains, but <laughs> the food was so good that we had to get some dessert as well. We've got a brown caramel cheesecake. It looks like it's been deconstructed with the, the crumb, crumb on the bottom and <laughs> then some chocolate on the side. Oh, good. <laughs> wow. I was just interested in the crumb because it's meant to be a lime crumb. Yeah, the crumb is delicious. It's got a nice little bit of citrus in it, but the cheese part of it is amazing. And then you top it off with some sweetness from the brown sugar glazed caramel stuff. Oh man, <laughs> this has been a fantastic meal. And I was just saying to Yen, like because this place is about an hour away from Auckland. Mm. Would I come here just for this restaurant? Yes. <laughs> no issues, definitely. We'll definitely be returning here. Fabulous. Yin and I have just purchased our tickets and there are six galleries here and Ina, the very nice lady just back here, <laughs> she was helping us with um, a little bit of an explanation about the area as well. So apparently two lawyers uh, picked up a whole bunch of pieces for their private collection. Husband and wife team. Husband and wife team, <laughs> yep. And then now they've finally kind of exhibited everything for us, the public, to see. Uh, the prices here is $29 per person and we're in the first gallery now. So a whole bunch of glassware in this particular room. And then I think 750 pieces in total throughout this area. So there's the indoor galleries, but there's the also gardens. the outdoor gardens yeah. galleries as well. That was super cool. It was really amazing to see just all the different artworks from around the world as well and it's amazing that it's a private gallery that you get to see here. I liked all the um, glass displays but yeah it looks like we're now outdoors yep. <laughs> ready to see more. Ian and I have been to a couple of galleries from around the world yeah. and I've got to say that this one is pretty unique in the way that it's got the indoors and the outdoors but also because every room is pretty different. Yeah. Like, I'm really surprised that this is in New Zealand because uh, this collection is pretty impressive. I kid you guys not, I actually know about this particular piece. There was a time I really wanted a piece like this in um, Yen and myself's apartment. Yeah. Uh, it's done by Ben Foster, I think. And um, they had a range with these and a bunch of like Labradors and Dobermans and stuff. And they even had a horse at one point. Yep. We were considering <laughs> taking out our dining table and just having the horse <laughs> in the dining room. But would have loved the dog though. That would have been perfect. Yeah. Can't believe it's in this. Gallery, I know, I even, made, I, I even made contact with Ben Foster at one point and I was just kind of like mulling over the price and yeah, at the end it didn't happen because it was kind of expensive. But, uh. <laughs> but we get to admire it here. Yeah. Such a cool gallery. I think something that is really clear to see is that the collector, the founder, Anthony Grant, really wanted something that was probably for everyone as well and for the artworks to be fun because that's why you see all these amazing colorful pieces that's out here in the gardens 
and the place is also really well maintained eh? yeah super well maintained and i saw on the website this has some of the best sculpture uh, that i've ever seen in my life from one of the customers that have been there and i was skeptical at first but don't doubt it it's a very cool place especially if you love art so we've just gone through that first garden part and now we're going to the second garden part. <laughs> it's just across um, from Rothko restaurant over the bridge area. And yeah, something else to note about this place is that not only is it incredibly well maintained and beautiful to look at, there's the layout of everything is very nice as well, which makes it even more enjoyable. I yeah, think. I think a lot of thought has gone into yeah. like the, not just the artworks, but also the plants as well. Mm. And that wraps up this little trip that we've taken you guys now. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed following us out to Mangafai doing that cliff walk and then coming here to Matakana to this incredible sculpturium. We're just walking in a little circle at yeah, the moment. Yeah, so you can see the background <laughs> and everything. Yeah, we're not crazy, we know what we're doing. <laughs> you can quite easily spend a few hours here, especially if you love gardens. Yeah, uh, in fact, we've actually spent four hours here, which I don't think we expected, but... <laughs> Has yeah. it been four hours? Yeah, it's been four wow. hours. It's um, so big and there's just so much different stuff to see. And apparently if you come in summer, you'll get to see a lot more of the flowers and bloom as well. So yeah. might have to make another trip back then. If you guys have enjoyed this episode and uh, if you want to follow us around more in the future, you know what to do. <laughs> Smash the like and subscribe button. Yeah, drop us a comment. We love hearing from you and we will catch you next time. See you guys. See ya.